Welcome back. Osiris Rex has been the talk of the town this weekend. The asteroid probe landed on Bennu, named back in 2013, you'll remember, by a nine-year-old, Michael Puzio. He named the space rock after the Egyptian god of life and the sun, inspired by the name of the mission itself, Osiris, the Egyptian god of death. Well, if you saw any of our coverage this morning, you did see Fox 13 News reporter Spencer Joseph at the Dugway Proving Ground. He stayed there throughout the day as scientists took that sample recovery and they started to secure it for study and spoke with some of those who have waited for decades for this very day. The word here from the Dugway Proving Ground is that everything went as well as it could have for the OSIRIS-REx capsule return mission today. Touchdown of Osiris Rex in the Utah desert. They cover the operations. SRC is in the cargo net, and all the gear has been stowed in the helicopter. So after returning through the atmosphere at supersonic speeds and then slowing to 11 miles an hour and landing actually on its nose, it was perfectly on its nose. The capsule was checked out by the team in the field where they made sure there was no hazardous material before being packed up and flown to a nearby clean room. So that's the footage you're looking at now. The helicopter was able to drop that uh, capsule and they were able to get it in the clean room smoothly. Now, as scientists started to unpack it, we caught up with Dante Loretta, the principal investigator, as he was getting off the helicopter. He's previously said that he needed to be on that sample recovery mission because it was like seeing his children again. Yeah, I don't think I've really processed how much stress I've been carrying over the past you know, couple decades building up to this moment. So it's starting to release, but I cried like a baby in that helicopter when I heard that the parachute had opened and we were coming in for a soft landing. So throughout the day, they continue to unpack further levels of this capsule. Now, they're not going to open the sample here. That will be a little bit later. But before they were able to do that, a lot of those involved and a lot of those who have been a part of this mission for decades talked about why this is so important to them. You know, this capsule um, literally has a personality and it... Uh, it understood the assignment. We can achieve great things. This country can achieve great things, but we have to work together to make that happen. These samples are an amazing treasure trove for generations. So while today may be the end for the sample return, it's the beginning of this mission in two regards. One, the OSIRIS spacecraft has now transitioned into the OSIRIS Apex mission, where it will travel to the asteroid Apophis. That will happen in the next couple of years. Now, here on Earth, they are going to fly that sample to Houston tomorrow on a C-17 brought in by the Air Force to actually fly it. Uh, and of course, all of those scientists will be on board, waiting anxiously to get their first chance at getting their hands on that sample in a few days. Of course, we'll continue to cover the OSIRIS-REx missions throughout its journey as scientific discovery and maybe some of the building blocks of solar systems and life itself are uncovered. For now at the Dugway Proving Ground, Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News, Utah.